In this program, what we're going to do is make a simple text editor, sort of like Notepad, where we can open files. And so I can click a button or a pull down menu and I can select a text file such as, uh, here we go, I've got a text file, a list of uh, disco songs. There's the name of the file and you'll see here's the files and I can have it open. I'm going to also show you how to create a save uh, so we can save it and you can make it so you could edit the text, uh, you could go copy, paste, etc. Um, and it could be a, a basic notepad application. So how do you do that in Visual Basic? Well first I'll start Visual Basic. I'm going to use buttons just so it's easy for you to see what I'm talking about. So I've got a button here called uh, uh, button open. And I've got a button here called button save. One of the things I'm going to use uh, with these buttons is I want to use the file system uh, dialog box that we're used to using in Windows. So it helps us to navigate to find files and folders and to select a file and select the file name, which is harder than you think sometimes. So to do that, um, I'm going to add to my form this tool called the Open File Dialog. And notice when I add it to the form, it doesn't go onto the form. It goes below the form, uh, so it attaches itself to the form. It's not a visible object. I'm also going to save files, so I also want to include the Save File Dialog box. Both of them work very similar uh, to each other. So let's start with opening a file. How can I put a file into this text box? Well, let me go to uh, uh, the open sub and um, make the text a bit larger so it's easier to see. And what I want to do is I want to show that dialog box. So I'm going to type in um, open file dialog one dot show the dialog. And that's just going to show the dialog box. So if I press play here, you'll see um, it really does nothing. It just shows the dialog box. And one of the lovely things about the dialog box, it allows us to um, go through folders and drives. It allows us to arrange by large icons, uh, by list, however you like. It's the standard Windows uh, setting that we're used to using. Okay, next thing is I need to get the file name from there. So how do I get the file name out of this show dialog box? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable and you wouldn't have to do this, but to make it easy to understand, I'm going to make a variable called file, uh, my file name, and it'll be a string and it's going to contain the file that we select. I'm also going to create a variable called my uh, data which is a uh, string. Actually, I'm going to call it my string um, because the data that we're going to open is going to be of the string format. So this will really remind me that it's uh, a string. Okay, so how do I get the file name using the open file dialog box? Here I tell it to run the open file dialog box. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, that the file name is equal to whatever was selected in open file dialog by saying my file name equals open file dialog dot file name. Great. And I could message box what that file name is just to uh, show you how it works. So I'm going to press play. And when I click open, I'll select a file press open and there it tells me the full path and it tells me the file name. Okay, now how do I put that date of that file, which is a text file, which is very similar to a string, into a string or into a text box? Well, it's actually not that hard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say if my file name 
is not nothing. So I want to make sure that I've selected something. If I press the cancel button, for example, I don't want it to do this. And what it's going to do is I'm going to say that the string is going to equal my computer file system read all of the text move that out of the way read all of the text of from the file so the string now is going to be everything that was in the file that's how you open a file and then I could message box the string or I can manipulate the string any way that I already know how to so if I press play you can see there is the data as a string and if I was to make a text editor what I would do is rather than message boxing it I would say that the text box is equal to um, the text in the text box is equal to the string okay and you can see obviously I would I could make it a lot less code if I wanted um, but to try to make it simple I I broke it into separate variables. Okay, what about the save? How would I get it to save text that I've done? Well, very similar process. I'm going to create a variable called my file name, which is going to be the file name and path. And I'm going to create a variable called uh, my string, which is going to be the data. So my string is equal to me text box one's text and then i'm going to show the save dialog box just like i showed the open dialog box i'm going to say um save dialog one show it show the dialog box and then i'm going to uh say i want to put the string into the dialog so I'm going to do the same thing. If uh, my file name, oops, sorry, my file name is equal to the save file dialog dot file name. So we ran the save dialog box to get the file file name, and then as long as the file name's not nothing, let's uh, let's save. So what I'm going to put in here is I'm going to say um, my computer file system write all the text um, to the file. And what text do I want to write? I want to write the string of text. And I say false if I don't want it to add it to the end of the file, append a file. Um, false just means make that the file. You can do true, true if you wanted to keep adding and adding and adding to a file. But in my case, Notepad would just write over top. Great, and now um, you'll see I can uh, press play. I can write some text in here. I'll type in hello world, couple enters. This worked, exclamation mark. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna save it in drive H and I'm gonna call it hello uh, world.txt. And I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna use, uh, I'll clear it out so you can see there's nothing in the text box. In fact, I'm gonna even turn the program off. I'm gonna imagine later someone comes, they press open and guess what? There's a file here called hello world. And when I press open, there you go. I just created uh, a light version of Notepad. A couple other things just to quickly show you here. One of the things is in the properties of the dialog boxes. So let me go to the uh, open file, log, file dialog box. There's something called a filter. And if I wanted to just have a program that would edit C sharp files, or text files or data files, I can put filters in. So for example, I could say, 
only C sharp files. And then I use the pipe character and I go star dot CS and it would only list dot uh, CS files. I could say only uh, text files. And I can say put a pipe and it would be star dot TXT. And maybe I'm going to make a special uh, type called the POI files. Um, maybe a, some sort of special uh, type here. I'll call it POI files. <laughs> and its type would be star.poi. Uh, and so now, watch what happens, and that I added to the open dialog box. When I press play, when I press open, it's only gonna list C sharp files, text files, or POI files. So for example, I look at text files, all those Word documents down here are now gone. It only shows text files. So here, it's going to show just the text files. Great. And I can do the same, of course, with the save dialogue.